I've had so many patients ask me lately about what can they do to keep from getting the coronavirus and I thought I'd do a quick video just to share what I told them, ways you can help build your immune system. My name is Dr. Tom Refrano, founder of the Natural Medicine Clinic and author of The Free Diet. I've had the privilege of helping over 100,000 patient visits over the last 34 years. And we're going to talk about how you can strengthen your immune system to keep from getting sick, to get from the, whether it's the coronavirus, colds, flu, any illness. It all comes down to how strong is your immune system. If you think about it, in any given area, whether it's a household, a school, there might be, say, a classroom where 30 kids in the classroom and say a cold or a flu is going through there and maybe a third of the kids or half of the kids get sick and the other half don't. Well, why is that? And it all comes down to how strong is your immune system. So we're going to go over four main topics on how to keep that strong, sleep, stress, diet, and supplements. And we're going to start out with sleep. Lack of sleep weakens your immune system. There's no, no doubt about that. And it's not just any sleep. So uh, it's important to get at least seven hours a night minimum. Uh, you also want to go to bed ideally by 10, 11 o'clock at the latest because there's a lot of regenerative sleep that takes place between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. So sleep, uh, going to sleep from say 10 to 6 in the morning is much more restorative than say you go to bed at 2 a.m. and get up at 10. I mean, there's no comparison. I, I had a habit for many years, thanks to high school and college studying, of going to bed at midnight, a midnight or after. And um, when I finally made the decision some years ago to be asleep by 11, within a couple of weeks, I felt like a new person. It wasn't that I was getting more sleep, but just going to bed earlier and uh, just felt so much better. So sleep is so important for strengthening your immune system. Stress is, of course, we're, we're all undergoing stress and can't, it's not like we're going to get away from us. So what are you going to do to handle it and keep the effects of stress from weakening your immune system, thus allowing you to get sick? So getting outside, getting fresh air and sunshine is a great stress reliever, relaxation, whether it's meditation, prayer, getting out in nature, um, getting proper exercise. So mild to moderate exercise is a great stress reliever. And also um, for first thing in the morning, and instead of you know getting on your phone, checking your email, uh, what you want to do, what would be really helpful is to you know sit quietly, either get outside for a walk, Again, prayer, meditation, read something positive, journal, all those things are great for relieving stress, which then can enhance your immune system, thus helping you to prevent from getting sick. And number three is diet. So there's certain foods we should avoid that destroy our immune system, and then certain foods that are very healthy. So sugar, for instance, is known to weaken the immune system as are many other foods but uh, what, what i do with our pa most of the patients that come in to see us have chronic health issues digestive thyroid autoimmune and others so almost everyone is that we test has gluten sensitivity and sensitive to other foods so what i did is came up with a diet i call it the free diet that's free of those foods most commonly responsible for not only gut and thyroid issues, but uh, you know, autoimmune, inflammation, and other chronic health issues. So it's a diet not only free of gluten, but gluten, grain, sugar, yeast, soy legumes, and again, other common allergenic foods and inflammatory foods. So, I mean, ideally, that's what I recommend 
for enhancing your immune system, dige digestive system, since about 70% of your immune system is in your gut, then following a diet such as this really helps improve your gut health, thus your immune system as well. And I've seen pre and post lab testing, um, pre the free diet, and then four weeks later, um, where it's um, on a number of patients, their white blood count was originally low and it went up significantly in just four weeks. So it really can have a positive effect on your immune system. And well, I'll put a link below if you want a free copy of the free diet phase one feed chart. So feel free to click on that. Um, and of course, in the avoid list, besides sugar and those foods I mentioned, um, you know, alcohol and processed foods, junk foods, things like that, which tend to weaken your immune system. And number four is supplements. So there are a number of supplements that have been found to strengthen your immune system. One is vitamin C. As a matter of fact, over in China, they've been using uh, vitamin C intravenously, actually, um, in hospitals to help kill off, you know, to help these patients that have this coronavirus get, get better and recover. Um, so as far as oral vitamin C, that certainly can be very helpful in enhancing your immune system and helping you recover from virus, viral illnesses much more readily. Um, vitamin D has also been shown to enhance your immune system and prevent cold and flu viruses. And I recommend typically for adults, I usually recommend 5,000 units a day and children um, typically 2,000. It really depends on your weight and how much sunshine you get, et cetera. But on average, the typical adult I see is 5,000, sometimes up to 10. And uh, it's best to get your levels checked. And I would keep that at like a 50 to 70 in your, your lab results should be in that range of 50 to 70, near the high end for even enhanced um, immune support. Uh, zinc's another great supplement to enhance immune function, vitamin A as well. And going back to your gut health, since again, 70%, approximately 70% of your immune system is in your gut, then probiotics are an excellent way to enhance the immune system in your gut. So I recommend those. Um, there's also a supplement I recommend called immune support, and that's a combination of andrographis, an herb called isitis, and licorice. So it's a combination formula that's really helpful for short-term use. At the first sign of a cold or flu, any illness like that, you load up on the immune support, and I've seen it for myself personally and with patients really prevent the onset and, and lessen the duration and severity of colds and flu. And there's also what I call the functional five, like for general overall immune support and health. I typically recommend multivitamin, fish oil, magnesium, and then again, vitamin D and probiotics. So those are our functional five for overall immune strength and overall health and then on top of that for a specific immune support you know the, you, you can add the vitamin, extra vitamin c zinc vitamin a if needed and the immune support and again if you would like a free copy of the free diet phase one food chart feel free to click on the link below and if you want an early notification of new videos, subscribe to my channel. I'd be more than more than happy to uh, help you with any any uh, further topics you might be interested in. You know, you, you can leave a comment below as well. So thanks for joining me today, and look forward to seeing you next time.